Hey dudes, welcome back to Films Presents RC on YouTube. Paddy with you here again. I'm just going to show you over the next few videos some tips, some tricks and uh, some things that I've picked up and uh, what I use to film some videography tips. Uh, who knows, I might even go into some editing if the series goes well enough. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to show you this new little bit of kit that I've got, which is a DJI Osmo 2 gimbal. This is a free axis gimbal. This cost me about £40 used off eBay. It's mounted, well I say mounted, it's jerry-rigged at the moment onto a, a free leg tripod. Just a cheap aluminium tripod does the job. Now, when you notice, if you're out and you're, you're doing a bit of scale driving and filming, if you're out for about an hour and you want to get some footage, you obviously want to get um, a multiple angles of footage. A lot of the time what you'll find is people end up steering with one hand and doing the throttle as well. Or they use the chin. I know a lot of people, they use the chin. I often use my chin when I'm bashing and stuff like that if I'm getting some footage. So you get your 10 minutes worth of footage when you're out. But the problem is, is that throughout that 10 minutes, or, it, it, you know, you're not really enjoying yourself if, you, if you're trying to film and do this at the same time. And uh, for a basher, it's not really practical because, you know, especially if you're going to eighth scale or, or above that, um, you know, you can be hurtling a 60 mile per hour you know seven eight ten kilo object uh, it's not good to be using your, your, your hand at the same time great for scale filming not great for bashes so this is what i figured out right if you go and get yourself a dji osmo uh, gimbal uh two or, or above or what have you and you go and get yourself the dji go app you can pair the app with your phone so once you've set up your uh, dji go app and you've paired the dji go app with your uh gimbal through your DJI Go up on the on the phone. For instance, here we're using a Huawei Mate 20 Pro. It'll then have full integration with the gimbal. You can use your record functions on there and the joysticks in, in there as well. Your, your focus slider on the side. Uh, zoom slider on the side and focus as well, sorry. Um, if you're using Filmic Pro, I think you can also set that as your uh, focus slider as well. Now, we're gonna show you some, Just to, we're just gonna move just over there. You'll notice I'm losing the light at the moment. It's getting into late evening here in Devon, and uh, this system, not infallible in the low light, loves to have great light does the object tracking. Um, obviously, you can see here, comes out okay on the screen, the object tracking, but what will happen over here is, because we're in a low light situation here, it can struggle to keep up. There you go, it's lost it straight away. So what we're going to go and do is we're going to go move over there. We're just going to go and take a few little short examples to show you how this works properly. Thanks, guys. I mean, you can see there just a small example of uh, how it works basically uh, and I mean for a couple of quid I mean this tripod cost me about four quid the gimbal cost me uh, 40 so you know uh, in, in lieu of having a cameraman to get some shots uh, it's not too bad obviously you can mount this there's a, a, a standard metric thread under there I don't know if it's 3 8 actually I'm not sure but there's a there's a standard like GoPro style thread under there so you could get a small um, tripod to do some scalar shots obviously this is quite a tall tripod here we're standing about two and a half foot tall on this tripod and obviously if you have a smaller tripod you can get down get some proper scale shots and it would follow your car much better uh, obviously in um, circumstances of 
better light as well. So that's uh, just one little trick that I've um, found. Obviously, this DJI Go app only used to record in 1080p, but it'll now record in 4K as well, which is tracking, really. You can also use this with a native app. So, um, for instance, if you for, uh, on mine, I've got lots of settings because it's a Mate 20 Pro on the camera. Or if you're using something like a um, an S20 Ultra or something, you're going to be wanting to use in the native app. So you can do, you can use the native app uh, with the gimbal. You don't need it to be thingy, but... Uh, I have found that there's great results as well from using Filmic Pro. I don't know any of you that use Filmic Pro, but it will pair itself to the DJI gimbal so you can use your record functions and stuff on here uh, with the uh, in tandem with the gimbal via Bluetooth, just like the DJI Go app will as well. So that's also a consideration if you're into uh, using Filmic Pro. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Just a little tip. I'm sure we'll get some more footage out of this. This is just part one. Uh, I'll show you some more tips next time about how you capture, uh, can use gimbals to capture uh, moving cars, uh, scale cars and stuff like that. And um, we'll go through that next time. Thanks for watching guys, I appreciate your support. As always, leave a like and a subscribe if you're not already sub to me. I'll see you next time guys. Thanks for watching.